Hello, and I'd like to welcome you to my tutorials of uh, Firehouse software. Today we're going to take a look at um, adding a new occupancy. And uh, what we do is we send our uh, companies out and uh, they've got a form that they have to fill out to do fire company surveys. Um, and basically it's our pre-plan uh, pre form. And I'm just going to bring this over here just to show you what our form kind of looks like. And you know, you can see it's got the name of the business. We're going to do this fire station here, uh, Lewistown Fire Department Station 3. And um, it's got all the information that we're going to need to uh, input a new uh, um, occupancy. So let me move that out of the way. And of course, um, you know, if you are just learning uh, to use Firehouse software, um, uh, to add a, a new occupancy in, you just go to uh, the occupancy uh, icon, open it up. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to browse here real quick. Uh, these are all the ones that we already have in there. And uh, just want to make sure that we we don't have it in there already. But we don't. So I'm going to close that out. Go to new. And I'm going to go ahead and add um, ours in here. So the occupancy name is going to be Georgetown Fire Department Station 3. And I'm going to tab over to occupancy ID. And it's going to automatically generate an, auto, uh, an occupancy ID for me. And then you're going to get this little box here. It's going to make sure that you, you, know, you want to create this record. And I'm going to say yes. And then we're going to make sure that the station is correct. Um, I've, we've got three stations here in the city. And one, two, and three, and yes, this is the one that we want. Um, uh, station three's district. Let me go ahead and put the address in. And I can do a lookup table if I just double click in the yellow space, and I see that there's Airport Road right there. Incidentally, this lookup table, you can um, edit streets. Um, you can create streets and all that if you don't already have all of them. Um, I don't have all of my streets in there and we just been kind of doing it as we go. Um, but you can see that I've got two airports in here and one of them seems to be missing uh, some important information uh, like the type of, of road that it is, is it a trail or is it a road. Or, um, so I actually want to, well I'm right there, I'm going to go ahead and delete that one. And it won't let me delete it because I already have a record that's associated with it, not until I can uh, get that cleared up. So, but this is the one that I want. And I'm going to go ahead and fill this information out. Um, it's not no apartment or suite or anything like that. Um, automatically generated Georgetown, um, Kentucky 40324 um, response district. I already filled all that stuff in there. And I in order to do an inspection, in order to upload it to um, uh, manage my inspections, I have to assign it to um, an inspector or ins assign it to a unit. And I'm just going to use INSP. This is me. I'm going to click OK. Um, you have the census information. You can put that in there. Um, you'll want to add the phone number. And we're going to add. Uh, our main phone number in there. Um, the office number, and I've just copied and pasted it. Uh, maybe. Let's try it one more time. Let's see. Control V. There we go. There it is. Um, email address. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and use Chief. Okay, so we're going to add uh, the email address in here. And in order to add an email address, you need to hit the plus sign. And we're going to put it in there. I've already copied and pasted it. And then i got to go over to Buildings and Specific Property Use and pick up Fire Station, which is uh, 888. And put that in. 
um, not mixed uh, property owned by city town or village or local government there um, skip the rest of it here uh, we're going to do uh, 10 normal use and um, let's see we have detectors present and there's smoke and the power supply is battery only. And we have no sprinkler system. And I like to save as I go, just in case you know, something does happen to the uh, uh, to the software, it locks up or whatever. So I've got that saved, and I'm going to go into contacts. And in order to add a contact. Um, we have to go to add, and you can add as many contacts as you want. But uh, and we'll go ahead and add the chief's name in there. And we're going to say he is the um, supervisory. And incidentally, um, you can also add new codes for occupancy contact types. Um, you can do that over here, either if you want to add a new one or if you want to edit one or whatever. Um, again, we're going to add his phone number. Oh, we're just going to use his office number. Let's start over. Uh, Alright, we're going to check this box and this box. Um, put this email address in there as well. And of course, you can make notes or you know, from other fields and stuff like that. But today, this is what we're going to finish with as far as uh, contact information. We'll close that. And again, I like like to save as I go. Okay, and that is you know adding in a new business. Um, now perhaps I want to go ahead and add in the, uh, um, the pre-plan information that our guys were able to achieve when they went out to pre-plan this building. Um, I have a group set up here. It's a GFD pre-plan. Um, just a, a set of um, codes that um, I've already predetermined that we need. And it's going to verify the date. And electrical service, um, we're going to do verified by um, the officer that, that performed the uh, walkthrough. Okay. And I want to make my notes. Let's get out here to work. Or they have this stuff here for me. Electrical panel. I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste right in there. It's going to be on the AB corner inside the bay portion of the building. That okay, kind of gives them a direction of uh, to look for this uh, the electrical panels. Um, I can delete that. We don't have uh, you know, FDC. Um, gas shut off. Open that up. Again, the officer performed the uh, walkthrough. Copy and paste. And so on. So you get, you kind of get the point. I do need to go back. Um, to buildings, um, I want to update the building size. Um, and let's see, I want to do effective uh, area worksheet. I want to do basic area calculation. And this is where I can put in um, the length of the building and I can put in the width of the building. And I click OK and it auto generates how many square feet um, the building is. Click save, 
close and you can see that information right over here. I hope this was some help and uh, if you have any questions please do not he hesitate to comment under this video or you can feel free to email me. My email is ffgood115 at gmail.com. Thank you and have a great day.